and welcome! Over Christmas I wrote to Santa to say that I need a new helmet. So he went to Moto Charlie and he brought me this beautiful showy Glamster Resurrection in the TC5 color scheme. So stick around because today I'm gonna review it! Well, I've been scouting the market far and wide to find a retro style helmet that would bring me all the modern features that are required, both in terms of safety and comfort. And my choice could only go to the showy Glamster. Uh, in this case, uh, it's the TC5 color scheme. Oh, hang on a minute. Hello? Yes? That's my almost twin brother from Japan, Paolo. Yes. Oh, it's Japanese. So it's Shoei. Okay, thank you. So this Shoei Glamster TC5. When you open the box, you will find the instruction manual, a chin guard, and some sealant. Then, of course, the helmet, nicely wrapped in a Shoei bag, and the pin lock. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Shoei Glamster in the TC5 color scheme. As you can see, it's rather compact, very typical of the retro style helmets. It offers you optional ventilation on the forehead, and this will bring a nice flow of air in those hot days of riding with the exhaust system here at the bottom. There's also a fixed amount of air coming through the chin guard through those uh, meshy part here. To remove the visor, you will need a screwdriver, very typical again of the retro style helmets, and you will need to do that in order to apply the pin lock. All you need to remove the visor is a Phillips screwdriver. Make sure you remove any fingerprints. Right, in order to install the pin lock, you need to make sure that uh, these pins are facing each other. First one side and then the other. Turn the pins back round so that the pin lock is nicely tight and boom! Your double glazing is ready to ride. And now ladies and gentlemen, one of the most satisfying moments of when you buy a new helmet. The removing of the front sticker. Well enough talking, it's time to reveal what it feels like when you ride with it. Let's do this! This is the view from inside my helmet! Right, I really like this helmet by Shoei! The Glamster might be retro, but it's got all the comfort of a modern helmet! The only place where I feel they put style in front of comfort is in the way this visor locks. But you get used to it very, very quickly. And it's very silent. So well done, Shoei. I've been wearing this helmet for a while now. And I can wear my glasses underneath it, no problem. It still feels very, very comfortable. The aeration of the chin is working perfectly. I have to admit, at first, the Glamster felt a bit claustrophobic due to its compact size. But the field of view was amazing, and I could enjoy this beautiful back road that stretches along the border of Slovenia. The helmet is very lightweight, coming at only 1200 grams perfectly balanced on your head, making it very comfortable to wear. It 
only note to Shoei is that they should bring more color scheme to the Glamster in order to suit everyone's taste. So, I'll see you back in the studio. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we arrived at the end of the episode. If you own a Shoei Glamster, Shoei. let me know in the comment area below. Uh, leave a nice comment, put your thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so and hit the notification bell. All those things will help my channel to grow and bring more content to you. Thank you so much for watching. From Tenor Rider, this is it. Ciao for now!